The Best Portable Car Jump Starter 2020 Buying Guide Being stranded with a dead battery is an awful feeling. But finding the right jump starter for your car battery can be tricky. This guide will help you find the most powerful jump starter to suit your needs. We have looked at all the popular chargers available in 2020 to give you a comprehensive range of options to choose from. To give you this top 6 guide, we have looked at 91 products and analyzed 3,821 customer reviews. Price and product details can be found in the description below the video. At number 6 is the Boost Plus, GB40, 1000 Amp, 12 Volt Jump Starter from NOCO. Number 5, T6, 800 Amp, Peak 18,000 mAh from TacLife. So, we'll hook it up and give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Number 4, T8, 800 Amp, Car Jump Starter from TacLife. Did you see me some eggnog? <laughs> yeah, he just pulled up. You are my favorite place to go. You're at the end of my favorite road. Above the rest, you're the best I know. Number 3, 800 Amp Peak, Car Jump Starter from Gulu. How does a great jump starter assist you when you are alone on the road? Connect. Jump Start. Jumpstart your vehicle in a flash. Gulu. Enrich your driving life. Number 2. JNC 660. Jump and carry. Jump starter from Clore Automotive. Number 1, 800 Amp Portable Car Jump Starter from DB Power. If you need to jump start your car, this DB Power 
is pretty small and compact. These do work and they're smaller, but you're gonna pay for that small size. I'll take you on a little tour of some of the features. USB ports for charging cell phones, things like that. If we turn it on, you can see that we're at 100% of its power. If you double click the power button, you'll be able to get the safety light to come on. That way if you're on the roadside, people can see you. It's also got a flashlight and it's got a compass. Of course, its main feature is its ability to be able to jump start your car. This plug will only go one direction, so you can't reverse the current. It's got some heavy duty clamps, that's good. And it's also got a little button on the side here that's like a turbo, you would call it. If you're having a hard time, push this button. It'll give you a little more power. In order to keep this unit charged, it has two ways to do it. This little port here, you plug in here, and then it gives you the ability to plug from your house current, or it gives you the ability to charge in from your car, cigarette lighter. Let's say you wanted to feed power into a GPS unit. It has all these connectors and a whole lot more, and they clip in nice and easy. In the kit, it also comes with this USB cable, but chances are you've already got one of these. So let's go ahead and hook this up on a car that needs a jump start. This battery does have some power, but you can hear it die out at the end. When you do hook up the battery cables, you've got to make sure you get them on the right posts. The red goes to the positive and the black goes to the negative. I have the unit off while I'm hooking up the cables so it doesn't arc. You flip it on, you can see how much power it's got. It's got about 56% of the power left. I took this picture before I charged it up to 100%, so it had 56% of the power while it was sitting in the glove box. Now that we have everything turned on, we're gonna be looking for a green light to make sure that everything's a go. The green light is on, so we can go ahead and crank the car. You can definitely hear there's more cranking power now. The error code suggests that there's a problem on one of the cylinders. But the jump start was successful. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button to let us know. And hit the subscribe button now so you won't miss our next outdoor gear guide. Finally, here are some more product guide videos we thought you might find useful.